Welcome back. Hi, I'm Christopher as always. I'm outside today and it's the first day I'm outside on, on my channel this year. Oh, it's... The, the sun is peeking through so I can't see the camera so you just have to bear with me if I'm looking in the wrong direction. That's, that's just because of the sun and I, I love that. I'm outside now because it's time to, to start really digging into the whole growing area that we're gonna work on this summer. Um, well, let's just start with last year. You might remember I did this tiny, tiny greenhouse. I, I had this greenhouse going and I made, uh, yeah, that was a really bad construction, but it actually worked and it did the purpose. I had this plastic housing that I made. It was supposed to be a temporary thing because I wanted to to get a head start on my peppers because I had a few peppers down here and I had some tomatoes in the back and I just wanted them to be able to to get a good start and I was planning on removing the plastic once the season got started so let's say mid-June or something but what happened was that the summer was really really cold last year so I just kept it and it worked out pretty good I would say the peppers they really liked it in the beginning because the tomatoes wasn't that big but once the tomato plants really really got started <laughs> you know it's just stupid because if you have let's say you have four tomato plants right here and the roof is at this height that's just not gonna fit <laughs> so I had to do some pruning and uh, it, it worked out kind of nice I had also had some tomatoes over here and they grew up to the ceiling of course and all the way to the top and uh, it's just not the greenhouse for tomatoes at least I, I grew them in ground and wow you might hear some birds chirping oh, it's, it's just the most fantastic sound to get when you're really getting into the springtime and you can hear the birds chirping and it's just that smell of uh, of uh, the season starting and it, it's just phenomenal so back to the business it, it it was kind of a a small confined thing that i had going on here and once the the season really got into it um and we were starting to pick tomatoes and we were picking thousands of tomatoes it was just crazy i never never ever had so many tomatoes that i had last year because I was growing them in ground and they they went like crazy so but the problem was that the tomatoes they generate so much so much moisture and uh, the humidity was just way up there and the peppers they don't like that at all so I had some problems with I wouldn't say I had didn't have any fungus or or, or anything bad going on with the plants it's just that the peppers weren't growing so I decided to just cut the tomatoes all the way down and this was I would say it was in late August or something and then the peppers really started to to come back and they produced some some really nice pods and um, I had way too many so I couldn't eat them anyway so uh, it's <laughs> it was probably enough already so but it was kind of a success for for this small operation it, it was kind of a success because where we live I don't know if you can see it, but it's snow everywhere. And this is actually the mountain region of Norway. And it's not a place where peppers <laughs> and tomatoes are supposed to grow. So I really need this kind of a, a greenhouse to be able to grow these outside. Well, I have to say, I'm really excited to be growing some ricottos this, um, this summer. And I'm going to try if... Uh, if I find a way to do it, I'm gonna try to grow a few of these outside and see if I can can um, get some ricottos or, or something to, to or manzanos or, or something because I heard they're really cold hardy and that's that's a pepper from uh, from Colombia or from uh, Argentina or some peppers that are really cold hardy and they they grow uh, high up in the mountains and they're more tolerant of, of down to zero degrees celsius temperatures so i'm excited about that but anyway back to <laughs> what i'm gonna do right now because this greenhouse i'm gonna move it i'm gonna move it behind you i will show you later but 
this one is going to be moved up there. And you might know that I bought the big, big greenhouse. Now this is, I would say this is four or five square meters. And the one that I bought is 50 meters square, square meters. So it's kind of a big deal. And uh, it's like bleh, this high, I don't know. But I was thinking of putting it right here. But I bought it and I picked it up. Well, that was, that was a horrible job <laughs> because I bought it used and I had to take the whole thing apart and now I have to assemble it and try to remember if I... Ugh. But anyway, I was thinking of having it here. So I was planning on having uh, brought in my dad's excavator and I'm gonna... Uh, was thinking about digging out the whole area here and uh, make a good fundament for it, but... I think it's too big. <laughs> to be honest, I, I, I would have to, to, yeah, build a wall or or something in, in the um, down region here. But, uh, yeah. So I came up with this ingenious plan, which nobody likes, and that is to tear down this huge garage. We have this enormous garage. I think it's. I think it's 80 square meters or something. It's, it's enormous. You could fit six cars in there. But I don't use it for anything other than crap. So I was thinking, what if I just take the whole thing apart and I put in the greenhouse inside of, of the concrete frame that I have? Um, which is well and good. The only problem is that it's kind of a lot of work. <laughs> And the growing season is starting within two months, I would say now, the growing season is starting. So I'm constantly working on plan B, C, G, F. I don't know where I'm at right now, but I'm thinking that I'm gonna try to get rid of it now and see if I'm able to put up the greenhouse and get something going. I might just have the the, I think at best I would have the second half of the summer in the new greenhouse over there. And that will make, I will be able to, to grow some salads and I would grow maybe some basil and, and all those kind of things. I'm not sure at all if I would be able to put peppers and tomatoes and everything. And it's kind of a shame because I was planning on getting everything finished and I have, I think I have about 100 plants going now. So that was supposed to go outside in the big greenhouse. But what you gonna do? It's just, I'm way over my head with all my plans and um, I just have to, to realize what I'm doing here. So that's gonna be a big project this summer. But anyway, we have this small greenhouse. It's going up there. And behind you, we have some blackcurrant and we have some gooseberry plants. These are my old grandmother's plants. She, she used to have the garden over there and she had the house up there and we lived on, on the house beside that. So I grew up here. Um, but what I was thinking that since I'm not gonna have the big greenhouse here, well, I have this enormous, well, enormous. Anyway, it's a good place for me to grow a garden. So I'm thinking that if I'm not able to put the big greenhouse up there, that's, that's not a problem. We're gonna focus on the garden right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my tiller down here and we're gonna mess up the whole area and we're gonna straighten it out. I can see if I can get the tractor down here just to, to flatten the whole area out. And uh, we're gonna grow salads, carrots, parsnips. We're gonna grow maybe some beets, uh, sugar snap peas, everything that you would have in a normal garden except the peppers. Well, I would say everything that you would have in a Nordic garden. So all the greens and, and everything that thrives in, in the colder climates. So that's gonna be, I was thinking about putting in corn, but I didn't start them and I have to start the corn really early here if I'm able to grow it. So I think that's what we're gonna focus on this summer. But anyway, I just wanted to bring you outside just to show you what I'm working on. It's gonna be a pain in the butt, but uh, we're gonna try to do it. And I'm gonna bring you along because either way, it's gonna be some fun growing this summer. We're gonna try different things. 
and in the area over there i'm gonna turn the camera around yeah i'm just gonna do that last spring we finally got rid of the neighbor because we rented out this house and i'm not ashamed to say that i really don't like this person <laughs> Because he, uh, he built so many stupid things, like this contraption over here. This one is, it has to go. And as you can see, there's, yeah, we cut down some trees. We had trees growing all over this area. And they were, they started out, uh, a few years back, they were just tiny hedges. So that's what we had all the way on the ridge here, but um, we got rid of it now and I'm going to try to see if I can get an excavator down here and dig out the roots because if you don't get rid of the roots, they're just going to come back. You can cut down all you want, but it's just going to come back. So we're going to try to remove it the, the good way. And instead, this, this area here, it's, well, this is about south. So we have a ton of sun right here and the sun moves all the way over and it goes down goes down into the valley on the other side and so i thought this is a perfect place for us to grow some trees so i was thinking i'm gonna try to grow because i know a few neighbors it's it's kind of steep all around here so we're not able to to grow the trees mainly on on flat surfaces so we're gonna try to grow some apple trees and some plum trees in 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 this area so i don't know i think we're gonna have a couple of um, trees here and we're gonna have a couple trees over there and i know that plum trees are kind of hard to to have in this region because it's a little bit too cold in the winter time but since it's uh, almost southern facing then I'm, I'm i'm not too worried i think i think we're able to do it I'm going to cover them up in the winter time and, and just take care of them uh, as good as I can. And down here we have, oh, by the way, the greenhouse. Oh, I'm going to walk all the way around this. Oh, I have so many things to do. This, this whole area has to be cleaned out and you wouldn't believe what it looked like here a couple of weeks ago. So up here. This, wow, this is the perfect spot for, for the greenhouse. That's a big truck going. <laughs> We're gonna put the greenhouse, the small greenhouse up here. And that way it will get all the sun when it comes in in the morning and all the way through to the evening. So it's a lot better place uh, than what I had last year. So hopefully it will get I would say it will have maybe two or three more hours of sun uh, and that's that's a big difference so it's going up here you know what i'm gonna move you up here because you can't see anything and it's just bad for me to stand here and chit chat about things you don't see so this is the area that i'm talking about this used to be it's um, it's it's a wall built from stones right here. It used to be where my grandmother had the dog house. So we have the lawn up here all the way through, and uh, we had some bushes over here. And the neighbor that rented this house it just ugh, completely ruined the whole area. So, but I'm 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 over it. So. What I'm going to do here is I'm, I'm going to put in some new soil. I'm going to till the whole thing and I'm going to put down the large concrete blocks that I have that the greenhouse are staying on right now. And I think this is going to be a perfect area for, for the small greenhouse. I'm not going to do this crazy plastic thing this year because it looks like crap. And I'm so finished with things looking like crap. So I'm going to try to keep everything clean now and make make something that looks really nice so this is where the the greenhouse is going i'm going to clean up everything here going to put in the the trees the fruit trees that i was talking about over there 
and that's it. Well, <laughs> it's kind of a lot of work, but uh, I'm, I'm convinced that we can do something fun here this summer. And I'm gonna be working <laughs> day and night to, to get the big greenhouse. You can see the garage, pr probably see the garage from there. And uh, that's a lot of work. So, and it has to be cleaned out first, so. But we will see, I just wanted to bring you along and I just might leave you with a time lapse of me cleaning up this mess. Until next time, this is Christopher. So I made the force be well, yo, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Oh, I'm sweating already, and I haven't started doing anything. <laughs>